Hey boys and girls, Pastor Tom here. Look at it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to a wedding just like this. Do you think that's a good idea? Jesus told us a story today about some people that were gonna go to a wedding and one man, he didn't want to get dressed up right because he had a bad attitude. So what you're seeing here is Pastor Tom with a bad attitude. Maybe I should go like this. Or. Watch. I think when I go to the wedding. Maybe I should be dressed more like this. This is more appropriate for a wedding. And what we wear is important. Because what we wear is like an attitude. When we're, when we're nice to other people, it lifts up their spirits. It makes them feel good. We're dressed in fine things when we do that. When we give our mom or our dad or our teacher, when we give them bad attitudes and we give them a hard time, you know what? You know what that's a lot like? It's a lot like, oh, it's a lot like these Stinky socks! Oh, I can't take it! It stinks! Did you ever hear your attitude stinks? Yeah, it's like stinking like those socks because you're not being nice. Jesus told us we're always invited. We always have choices. We always have the choice to be nice and do things the way God taught us to do things. Or we could be evil. And we could be mean. We could be nasty. We have a choice. We're being invited to something better. That something better is following God's rules. Now God's rules got real complicated in the Bible. They got so complicated. Uh, they had people that would spend all day just trying to figure out uh, all the laws and the loopholes. And Jesus said, I'm going to make this easy for you. I'm going to give you two laws. And these two laws are going to sum up all the other laws. The first rule Jesus said that we need to do is to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our mind. That is the greatest commandment and it sums up all the other commandments. And then Jesus went on to say there is a second one. And that's love everyone else. Love all your neighbors, everyone, no matter who you meet. Love them and treat them as you would want to be treated. So we don't want to be stinky socks. We want to be people dressed in fine clothes. Now, you don't have to have expensive clothes to be dressed in fine clothes. My first suit that I used for preaching, I got it at the I got it at the Goodwill for fifteen dollars. Don't tell anybody because everybody told me how good I looked in that suit for years and years and years uh, until I kind of just wore it out and I had to get another one. It's not about wearing expensive things, but what it's about is honoring other people and treating them as we would want to be treated. That's the story kind of that Jesus was telling today about that we're going to read in church. And it's a story about a man going out and inviting people to, to do these good things and they turned God down. We go to church to remember the good things that Jesus did for us. So church for us is a celebration it's not a wild party, but it's a celebration of what Jesus did. And what did Jesus do? He came into this world and he died for our sins. He died for my sins. He died for your sins. And he was raised from the, from the grave. He went into heaven and he sits at the right hand of God the Father. And he has the ability to forgive those who believe in him. 
So that's my story about getting dressed for a wedding. I hope you liked it. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I ask your blessing on all the children who are watching this video. Father, through the power of your Holy Spirit, empower each and every person watching this video. Empower them to always want the desire to do good. Father, there is enough bad in this world. We need more good. And let us be the people who put on nice clothes and nice attitudes. Help us not to be like stinky socks. Bless us. Watch over us. Keep us and lead us in your ways, Lord. And we ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon. Bye.